Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Budget Beauty Buys. If you are new here, hey, my name is Kim and every week I take you guys with me to stores like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Nordstrom Rack, and we look for high makeup at discounted prices. It is so much fun and every week we are finding new stuff, especially now because it's November. They are going full force with putting out all the holiday stuff. They're, they're even playing Christmas music, which is so fun. I'm like singing along in the store. I love it. I'm totally in the spirit and I already want to start watching Christmas movies. If you guys are excited for today's shop with me, I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. I do tons of fun content like this, all budget beauty related things and shop with me's hauls. So if you guys enjoy that content, also tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos and let's get on into it. I am doing my first stop at Marshall. I like love Marshall's usually more than TJ Maxx, which I know is kind of crazy but just the way that my stores are. So let's get on into it. Let's head out to some stores and see what we can find this week. All right, let's get this party started. I am at my first store and just kind of showing you guys this huge Christmas table. They had a lot of bath stuff. This is the Crumb Shop and Hello Kitty bath set. Bath bomb, scrub, cute. This was $14.99. They also had this one, Hello Holidays. I feel like who can resist Hello Kitty? She's just so cute. It had a sleep mask, headband. These are the new Peppermint Body Scrubs from Onyx Bathhouse. So this one was really cute. These were $5.99. I also found these Velour Lashes with a glue and a little lash assistant. So that had like cute little holiday packaging. They had a lot of the Lorac Alter Ego lip glosses. This was like a pretty bright pink shade. I found a lot of this brand this week, Well People for $4.99. I believe this is at Target. So it's a natural brand. So I'm curious to try this. So here's one of their lip glosses and another Alter Ego lip gloss from Lorac for $3.99. I found tons of the glowing hearts from Makeup Revolution this week. Like every store had a ton of them. This one is iced hearts. I found this cute cut crease brush eye set from e.l.f. So I thought that was a really nice set. And then this Real Techniques ornament sponge. This was $3.99. And a brush from a lip brush from BH Cosmetics for $1.99. This was one of my favorite finds this week. I cannot believe the Revolution and Fruity Pebbles palette is at Marshall's. You guys, I just did this in a shop with me at Ulta like last month. So to find it at Marshall's was so crazy. I was like, what? $6.99. I didn't even think they had stock left, but I guess they did. So there you go. Really funny. I also found this Revolution Pro Night and Day Color Focus Shadow Palette for $4.99. Revolution has so many <laughs> palettes and so many lines. So lots of that ahead. I found the sprinkles palette. I just kind of wish it smelled like sprinkles. This was $6.99. I also found the Revolution and Friends, the TV show palette. So this was like in a lobster palette type thing. I guess it's like, you know, a reference to the show. And this is $7.99. So I only found one of those. This was a Marc Jacobs cherry eye set. It had like a bunch of his eyeliners. It was called I Pick You and this was $16.99. This was the BH Studio Pro Shade and Define Contour and Highlight Palette for $6.99. Here is a new eyeshadow palette find, Pacifica Love Stone. These are 100% vegan. There's also highlighters. This was only $8.99, so here are all the shades that come inside, and it says that they're like crystal infused. I love Pacifica eyeshadows. I've raved about them on my channel before. They are very underrated. So they had a bunch of those. I also saw this again, the MAC Travel Exclusive Strobe Kit with their Shimmer Fix Plus and Strobe Cream. BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette. I will never forget when this came out, like in the beauty community. There was also um, uh, like a bright one, which I actually still have in my collection. This I've been finding every week, the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette. This is in Big Shot for $6.99. Lots of colors. This was a cute brush and sponge set from Japanesque. They have great brushes if you guys have never tried them before. Highly recommend. 
And this was only $5.99. I thought that was a great price. This Anastasia lip gloss set is at like all my stores. It's a cute little four piece and it's $14.99. New Cara Beauty palette. This is an all glitter, like pressed glitter palette for $9.99. It's called Pop That Glitz. So I put up some swatches so you guys could see. Obviously, this is really shiny and pretty to my eye. So I was like, ooh. <laughs> Mario Badescu mini holiday sets. This is rose all day. This is the facial spray and a rose lip balm for $9.99. So always get those at a discount, you guys. Amika the Cure Conditioner. I heard this is a great like bonding hair repair conditioner. And I believe this was $10.99. So I think this is kind of similar to like an Olaplex. Caviar Style Grit from Alterna. This is like a Sephora brand. This was $7.99. Another set from Mario Badescu. It had the enzyme cleansing gel, a face spray. This was $8.99. Another Revolution palette. This is the Turkish Delight. This is a really cute palette. I don't really pay attention to this brand too much, but the pan sizes were really nice and big. It's Color Story Kaleidoscope, and it was only $5.99. Another Skylar scent. This is Serene. It's like a kiwi coconut. Really been enjoying my Skylar scent that I bought last week. A bunch of perfumes from Nostalgia, Sunday Afternoon, and Day Trip. These were $12.99. Some slip silk scrunchies. These are $16.99. I thought this was a cute Mickey Mouse and the Crumb Shop face set, like a face printed sheet mask set. And I found this Dr. Jart goodbye, whatever it is, goodbye kit. It had the Sika pair, which like kind of blew up on TikTok. Um, some different creams of his. This was $19.99. On to my next store, just give you an overview of what I saw. I know some people like to see kind of just an overview of the area. So a lot of repeats here, the Zoeva Dazzling Powder. This is the Authentic Skin Finishing Powder. So this has actually great reviews online and all of her stuff is made in Italy, which I thought was great. This I found last week as well, this MAC. It's like a little uh, highlighter bronzer kind of set. The Revlon Photo Ready Photo Ready Airbrush uh, primer. This Cara Duo palette I just think is so gorgeous and I love all the pinks. It's called Like Totally. It's $12.99. Another shade of the Runway eyeshadows from Marc Jacobs that I have not seen yet. This is in Roy's. Rose? Hopefully I'm saying that right. This was $6.99. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to find this. The Lip Glossy from Kopari in the shade Birthday Suit. This is $6.99. This is my first time finding these. So these are at Sephora. And I was like, oh my gosh, these I've been wanting to try. They also had the lip glossy in clear. So Kopari is known for their like coconut oil products or coconut oil is like the main ingredient they use. And here they are side by side. Elf Putty Eye Primer in the shade Clay. I had not seen this one yet before, this specific shade. This is a shade I never saw of the Butter Highlighter before. It is for deeper skin tones. This is another new find. I love this packaging, the Revolution Pro Crystal Luxe Berry Flush Face Palette. I love these kinds of stones. I actually have glasses with those stones, and I love them. So that was $5.99. Milani Prime Perfection Primer was only $2.99. I found this new K-Beauty Mascara, Born to Be. I couldn't really see what the brand was, but it was $5.99. Lots of Velour Lashes. These were $7.99. This Volume Hero Mascara from Essence. Uh, I didn't think I loved this one. I do have it and I remember not loving it as much as Lash Princess. Another Milani Eyeliner. This is a matte eyeliner in a brown shade for $2.99. These BH Cosmetics Tapered Blending Brushes. These were $3.99. Another product from Well People. This is their Stick Foundation. And this was $6.99. iHeart Revolution Watermelon Highlighter. This is in Tasty Watermelon. It's $3.99. Honest Beauty. This is a like face primer type of thing. 
Another product from Well People. This is a loose setting powder in the shade Pearl. So like I said, lots of Well People and their stuff is plant-based. Another product, this is the Bio-Base Baked Foundation from Well People. So let me know if you guys have tried this brand before. This was $5.99. They also had this Bio Brightener Baked Powder, which is supposed to be a very, very like light illuminator. Blurs Imperfections. And you can see all the ingredients that they don't put in their products, which I think is awesome. And this is in shade one. I also found two MAC lipsticks. We have classic shades from them, Ruby Woo and Russian Red. Those are like MAC reds that are they're so well known for. This three-pack of Vaseline, I thought that was pretty cute. That was only $2.99. Elizabeth Arden Gelato Crush Lipstick Set. That was $12.99. Two products from Orly. They had a top coat and a matte top coat. These were $5.99. This BH Cosmetics Mrs. Bella eyeshadow, oh not eyeshadow, it's a highlighter palette and this was the shades that were inside. Really pretty. I never heard of this before. Cara Beauty has a new face palette called Lightning Hour. So we have three blushes and three highlighters. I would love to try that out because I don't have any other face products. So that was $7.99. And then we have this pack of Ardell lashes. Honestly, I don't really use Ardell anymore since I discovered Ioni because I feel like Ioni is way better and they're cheaper. <laughs> These headbands were so gorgeous. I loved all the stones. I'm always like so attracted to the pretty headbands at TJ Maxx and here are more cute ones. They remind me of like Gossip Girl. Okay, guys, so that is it for this week's episode of Budget Beauty Buys. Let me know what you thought. Did you find the same stuff I found? I feel like every store kind of has the same stuff. Um, I'm finding a couple random things here and there that are popping up that I'm like, oh, I never saw that at another store, like the Kopari birthday suit lip gloss. I actually did pick that one up. I kind of want to see what it looks like. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Oh, it was $6.99. It's had so many good reviews. Let me zoom in. I know that um, when I was looking at reviews, everyone was saying that Billie Eilish... My sister calls her Billie Eilish, recommended this. So people were like buying it after she recommended it. It's not thick either. Mm, oh my gosh, it's like tropical birthday cake is the best way I can describe it. So that is my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also I want to show you this sweater. You guys, how freaking cute is this sweater? I posted it on Instagram. It says California Racket Club. Can you see it? And it looks like, like it's from the 80s or something. It's like neon so cute so my style and i actually got it on clearance from rue 21 and i did find it on their website there's medium large and extra large i think i'm wearing a medium um because i like things more oversized or maybe it's a large i'm not really sure but it's so comfortable i've literally been wearing it for like the past two days no joke and i absolutely love it so i will link my sweater for you guys down below and also i'm getting questions if i'm going to be releasing holiday nail wrap i took mine off today so i am bare for today's filming but yes i'm going to be releasing holiday christmas nail wraps those will probably be coming i want to say I'm gonna say like a, I'll be generous. I'll say two weeks because I'm really not exactly sure when they're coming. So just stay tuned. I will let you guys know when they're here. I'll do like a whole video showing you all the designs and stuff. So hope you guys are excited for that. Check out my nail shop on Etsy. And Etsy it's called Nail Hearts with an S because Nail Heart was taken. So thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below what you are most excited to give us a gift this year or for Christmas to someone that you love. Love you guys so much much and I will see you in my next one.